Marauders and they're away and uh, Kanaska Sal was a little bit sleepy in the stores and that's the uh, early trailer but it's Reddenham, Leicester in the yellow cap going on with Wharf on his left looking for uh, the favourite Barathea at this stage and is uh, tucked away towards the back but nominators in the red jacket has come to share it as with Reddenham so it's Reddenham the yellow cap nominated the red colours, white cap is Emperor Jones and they're the leading pair, the two front runners absolutely stride for stride and they're working well. Coming down the centre of the track, just a length behind these comes the chasing pack headed by Emperor Jones with Wharf behind that one. The favourite Barathea is on the stand side, uh, just two or three behind at this stage. Chattelworth is tucked away, so to Ivory Frontier and also Ventri Quatri Fogli. So, it's Reddenham on the left and the yellow cap, the leader. Reddenham leading from, in second place, a nominator. Those still stride for stride. See the chasing pack. And just behind them, we find the white cap of Emperor Jones. Wharf pushed along. Chattelworth with a run. Barathea gets to work under... Uh, Michael Roberts and they come down past the two and they spread right across the track and here comes Barathea unleashing his run on the right of the leaders coming to share it with Emperor Jones nominator just a little bit of the meat in the sandwich Chattelworth runs a big race on the far side Emperor Jones going all over the shop Ventry Quatri Fogel is very wide indeed but a length or so off the pace as they come inside the final furlong and it's Wharf the pink cap white cap Emperor Jones Barathea and right down the stone rails Ventry Quatri Fogel a photo to the outcome of this the Craven Stakes between Emperor Jones and Wharf. Those two fought it out in the dying strides. Well, I'm not sure if we've seen a Guinea's winner here. Despite the strong pace, the closing stages went to number six for me, Emperor Jones from number two, Wharf, and it's a close call for third place. Willie Carson bringing Ventry Quatri Fogley right down the stand side. So let's have a look as they uh, flash past the post in this uh, Craven Stakes. And Emperor Jones and Wharf, Ray Cochran and Pat Hedery absolutely stride for stride. Right down the stand side is Ventry Quatri Fogley. Uh, Ivory Frontier isn't that far away, neither is Barathea. But the photo for first place concerns the white cap of Emperor Jones and the pink cap of Wharf. It's going to be close for third two. Ventry Quatri Fogley right at the bottom of your picture. Barathea and Ivory Frontier. And for me, those five good horses, clear of Chattelworth and, and Nominator. Nominator a little bit disappointing, perhaps, to be three lengths off the pace, but they can't all be champions. But what they can be is determined horses. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a steward's inquiry called here. Barathea came across uh, with... Emperor Jones just squeezing up Nominator and uh, Reddenham. But as they drive to the line, Ray Cochran, the white cap, Pat Edery, the pink cap, uh, the judge calls a photo between those two. Barathea just ran out of steam a bit close home. Right on the far rails is Ventry Quatri Fogley.